Namaste all, this is Bhumika Naik and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have already uploaded the videos of uh, advantages and disadvantages of electric impulses before that human nervous system. If you have not seen those videos then please go and check those videos. Link is already there in the description. So today we will study about reflex arc. will study about reflex arc. So let us start this class with an example. If you touch a hot object, see here he is touching the hot object. If you touch the hot object at the time you suddenly take off your hand and let us consider that the information is transferred as I told you in the earlier classes. When you touch the hot object the uh, neurons, the present uh, in the skin, will take this information and they will send it to the brain. The brain will think about it. It will think that, oh, this is hot object. It may harm your hand. So take off your hand immediately after again it comes to the um, hand and muscles through the same process from all these neurons. And when it reaches the muscle cell, at the time you will take off your hand. So it will take too much time uh, until the information reaches your hand to take it back. Your hand will be burnt. And what is the use of it if it takes that much time? So that's why to avoid all these things, to avoid the harm, a new system developed in our body that is reflex arm. So all of the, if you consider this is the brain, then the, there will be a rod-like structure that is attached just below the brain that will be your spinal cord. So that will be your spinal cord. That means if the we know that all these nerves from our body they reach the brain. Before reaching the brain, they go through the spinal cord. So instead of going to brain and after all this thinking, the what uh, system or what process happens is. These, all these nerves, they directly go to the spinal cord. So the information is transferred directly to the spinal cord and spinal cord is not the thinking part of our human body. That means it will not think about all the situations that is whatever happening around us. Just the thing is the spinal cord tells you to take off your hand. Uh, take off your hand means just to move your hand. If you move your hand, that it is enough, you will uh, you'll be safe from the hot object. So like this, it will, uh, without thinking about how to respond and what is the object, it will directly send the information to move your hand. So due to this system, you will be able to take off your hand quickly in uh, within an instant you will take off your hand and you will uh, be safe from the hot object and from any harm. So let us see how the process takes place. Here the in our hand uh, sensory organs are present. I think you know the five sensory organs uh, in our body that is skin, eye, nose, ear and tongue. So here skin is present in our hand uh, and in that skin uh, the it is one of the sensory organs and the neurons are present in our skin and in our hand so these are known as receptors means which the part of our body which is in contact with the object or uh, outer stimulus here this is the outer stimulus and the part that is in contact with this outer stimulus is our hand and it is made of uh, the outer layer is of skin and in that skin it, uh, the receptors are present so these are the receptors and these receptors detect the information that what is going on it will detect the information and see here it is the nerve and it is known as sensory neuron sensory neuron means through the sensory neuron the information is transported through the spinal cord and later the information or decision that you need to move your hand, the decision comes from the spinal cord to the effector through motor neuron. So it goes to the spinal cord through sensory neuron and it comes back to the hand through motor 
neuron and the neuron that is creating bridge between sensory and motor neuron is known as a relay neuron. Relay neuron, the name itself suggests that what do you do in the relay race? So it's like a, making a bridge between two players. So like that, between these two neurons, the relay neuron makes a bridge and that is present in the spinal cord. Just the thing is, in this, the spinal cord will send you the response and decision. So it comes to the effector. Here effector means whatever you do, that is whether you move your hand or uh, those things, they are effects. So this is the cause and this is the effect. From this cause you will move your hand, so this, that is the effect. Uh, so I am telling you how to remember it. This is the effect that you remove your hand. So uh, the, it is known as effector in a muscle. Normally to move your hand, what should be moved here? Your muscles, the muscles in your hand, especially in, in this elbow, it should be moved and like this you can remove your hand. So it, the effect that takes place, that part is known as effector and it is normally present in a muscle. So through uh, this whole process, you will be uh, able to take off your hand very quickly and normally the reflex action refers to quick actions. Normally the sudden actions or the quick actions are known as the reflex actions and the whole pathway you can see here is a pathway from sensory neuron to relay neuron to motor neuron between receptors and effectors. So this is a whole pathway and the whole pathway through which the reflex action takes place is known as reflex arc. So this is the place and whole uh, pathway or the cycle that, that is creating here at the, that is known as reflex arc. And I told you that when it reaches the muscle then we will move our hand, we will move our, uh, so, okay, sorry, we will move our hand at the time to move our hand what should take place there? So obviously to move our hand there should be movement in our hand that is the movement in our cells that is the which cells are present in, a, in your hand. So muscle cells are present that's why the movement takes place in muscular tissue. So if a muscular tissue uh, is to be moved then what should be moved there? It is muscle cell. So the whole movement of your hand depends on this muscle cell. Then how does it move? Movement means it will not locomote. Locomote means it will not come from one place to another. See, it will not come from your uh, uh, here palm to your elbow or to uh, here. Like that it will not take place. Um, so how it takes place means just by the change in their shape. So some proteins are present. Normally in every cell protein is synthesized by the ribosomes as we have studied in ninth class. In the muscle cell a special protein is synthesized and that protein has the ability to change shape. Or we can say that it has the ability to change shape by changing its arrangement. Protein means a long chain of carbons, you know that, uh, and uh, means the normally organic compounds. And the arrangement of those chains will change. If the arrangement changes, then the shape of protein also changes. If shape of protein changes, then shape of the muscle also changes. Normally it contracts. And if the shape of muscle cell changes, uh, like all the muscle cells will change their uh, shape and as a result the whole muscular tissue will change its shape and through that you, can, you will be able to move your muscle. When the whole muscle tissue will contract at that time, you can move your hand uh, as your wish. And here I have listed some of the receptors. See here, this is with respect to skin. Sometimes we may also um, see the reflex arc with respect to our eye. Means if you are exposed to bright light, what do you do? Either you will 
turn uh, back from that light or just the thing is you will close your eye. This is also a reflex action. Suddenly you will uh, close your eyes to the bright light. So that, that is also a reflex action. And see here, the synthesis normally these are present in the sensory organs. See here, touch means it is present in the skin. And from that, for that, we call it as thermoreceptors. And taste. Here, if you get anything a bad taste, then you suddenly throw it out. So that is due to the gustatory receptors. And smell in the nose. And that is due to olfactory receptors. And sound, that is ear, from phonoreceptors. And light from photoreceptors. So all these five are the receptors. And another thing I need to tell you is in uh, if the stimulus takes, uh, takes place in any of the body that is below our head at the time it will go to spinal cord but if the stimulus takes place near our eye at the time it will not reach spinal cord instead of that it will directly reach the brain because if you consider spinal cord and brain brain is the nearest to our eye ear, taste, nose and these things that's why it comes to the brain and brain interprets it and immediately it is sent to the uh, effectors and you, uh, you move your hand, you uh, means you will close your eye and you will turn off from that place like that the effect uh, will take place and uh, uh, that is known as a cranial reflex arc. This is just for your additional information. Cranial and spinal. If the reflex arc includes brain, then it is known as cranial reflex arc. If it includes the spinal cord, then it is known as spinal reflex arc. And another thing I need to tell you is, in this whole process, spinal cord is involved. We cannot say that the messages or the information doesn't go to brain at all. It is not the case. If you think like that, then you are wrong because it sends to the spinal cord and at that time itself, it will send to the, your brain. See here, you can see uh, in the slide, a message to brain. It is also sent to the brain and when it, uh, uh, from in spinal cord, without thinking, it will send you back the response. And after that, it will go to uh, brain and brain will think about that, it will interpret about that. And what brain does in reflex arc means, the question is asked in the in-text questions that is what is the role of brain in reflex arc. You cannot tell that there is no role of brain in the reflex arc because it is not involved in the path, you know. You cannot say like that because, see, if your hand is burnt, after that, you will apply some medicines to it and uh, you will remember that. Like if you are uh, bitten by a dog, then you will remember that one because it, it, will, uh, it will cause you too much pain. If next time, if you see the dog, you will not at all go near it. So like that, the memory should be stored in the brain and also after the cause, after the effect of birth, you need to apply the medicines for that and you, you, you need to decide what remedy you need to take. So for all these things, the brain is also necessary. That's why it, uh, the message reaches to brain as well. Uh, and like this, the reflex arc takes place, takes place. I hope it is uh, understood to you all. And uh, I'll try to upload how to uh, draw human brain and what are the functions of human brain. In my next video, if you like the video, then please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.